to DM's One Shot Beeries Season 6. In this second episode on this rainy day, I've decided to review something I'm really excited about. I'm happily announcing today I'm reviewing the Dogfish Head 90 Minute Imperial IPA, which also happens to be my first ever Imperial Double IPA. Believe it or not, I've never had a beer from that style. In this case, it's a 9% alcohol by volume beer, 12 fluid ounces. I got this in New York City. Uh, sadly, it's not distributed to uh, Eastern Canada, not sure about the Western provinces. It says here, what you have here is an Imperial India Pale Ale featuring a single constant 90 minute hop edition. It's balanced by a ridiculous amount of English Turo barley, then we dry hop it in every tank. And from what I've heard, Dogfish Head Brewery, which is by the way from Milton, Delaware, in case you don't know. So yeah, from what I've heard, they have a special device called Miso Hoppy, which essentially dry hops on most of the beers. Those that require that. This is my, I believe it's my third, fourth beer actually from them. I've had the 60 minute, I've had the pumpkin ale, and then I had the lovely Indian brown ale on tap, which was extremely uh, well brewed and flavorful. Either way, uh, let's get reviewing this beer. By the way, while I'm at it, shout out to Dorf68. Um, he recommended this beer, he said it's one of his favorites. So uh, I'll use my Sierra Nevada Globe glass. Essentially, it's a nice big snifter. Um, that's really good for these in India, uh, Imperial India Pale Ales. You could use it in a tulip glass, you could serve this in a smaller snifter. So let's open the beer and enjoy it. Smells lovely from the bottle, let's pour it out now. It's nice that this glass is big enough so we'll, we'll be able to get a nice rich head. Don't know about you guys, it's, it's sort of a matter of personal preference. Some people don't like heads on beer at all. But these glasses I prefer at least head like that, two finger, lovely, really creamy, with a few sort of large bubbles, but overall this is really creamy, uh, beige color to it. This is like deep amber, I'd say, it's not orange, it's not copper, it's, it's deeper than that, so deep amber color, uh, which is typical for many uh, American uh, double IPAs. It's an immensely intense smell. What's, what's interesting about it at this point is that I can't really tell if, if there's more hops or malts because it's fruity, it's piney, it's citrusy, all the while it's really caramel-like as well. So uh, I can't wait, I can't wait to dive in. This is lovely. Whoa! I've just recalled uh, my impression, the initial sort of first sip impression from the Dogfish 60, which was really good. But this beats it. Bready, sweet, uh, some biscuit notes, some caramel, definitely caramel toffish like piney, some sort of grapefruit zest. It's definitely medium to full body, but kind of syrup-like, but the amazing thing, there's no booziness at all, really good hot bite, but from what I've heard, and this is really true, it's, it's sort of met my expectations, and I was expecting this to be amazing, so I'm not, I'm not surprised, but I'm genuinely impressed with this beer. It's, it's definitely sweeter and maltier than the 60 minute, all the while there's still a very good amount of hops in it. Look at that lacing, I've never got this much lacing in this glass, this is amazing. I'm going to stop for the break, I'll come back. Uh, meanwhile, the grades right now probably won't be much of a surprise. A definite 10 out of 10 for the appearance. It's just lovely, I can't complain about anything. Lovely lacing, great head retention, great color, everything's good. Uh, the aroma, a 9. I mean, it's very good, but it's, it's not quite a 10. As far as the taste goes, it's my first Imperial IPA, so again, I can't really afford to give it a 10, but it's a definite solid 9 out of 10. And the mouthfeel, um, the drinkability can wait, but the mouthfeel is definitely a 9. So far, there's no booziness, really smooth, kind of, you know, kind of chewy, kind of um, sticky, but it's not hefty, so I'll come back with my final thoughts in a minute. Really, guys, I couldn't wish for a better introduction to the world of Imperial IPAs. It's immensely flavorful, a really intense beer. Um, the appearance is still as nice. It's a nice thin head you get, but it's still a head and there's still a good amount of lacing. Great color, not too pale, not too dark. Uh, really appropriate for the style. Uh, as far as the aroma goes, nothing's changed. It's still as nicely packed with hops and malts. And it's really amazing, the balance is there. 
they did use a ridiculous amount of malt, I guess. For an IPA, this is quite high, but this is really good because in the taste itself pays pays back, pays off, really suppresses the bitterness. There's not much bitterness to it. I'm 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 pretty certain that the Dogfish 60 minute IPA was uh, more bitter in the finish, and there's no lingering bitterness. It lingers for a while, but it's not really uh, much to worry about. Um, as far as the taste goes, still as good, but I was also getting some additional things like uh, a bit of tropical fruit notes like papaya, mango, maybe even pineapple, um, which is really great. So um, for those grades, I'm still giving a 10 for appearance, a 9 for aroma, and a 9 for taste. But for mouthfeel, I was initially uh, going to give this a 9, but it's dropping to 8, and here's why. You know, with every sip, you're not going to feel much alcohol, much ethanol taste at all. But at one point it just got really hard to swallow, which probably has to do with hops more than with alcohol. Um, you know, I, I drank some water, which really helped me. Now it's back to being really um, amazing and flavorful and pleasant. But over, overall, this is a very smooth beer, so the mouthfeel is really good. It's just not as good as I thought it was. As far as the drinkability, it's a good solid eight, but it, I can't really give it more than that because you know have, you have to consider everything. Uh, it's great as it is, but it's certainly a beer that you should you know use moderation when drinking because it's just not meant to be consumed in large quantities at one time. So an, an eight out of ten for drinkability, which all in all we get ten, nine, nine, eight, eight, which averages at nine out of ten, which is really good. I, I believe. You know, this this is stood to my expectations. It was a really good beer. I dare say that this is even better than 60 minute, even though it's different. It's well different. I'm not sure if I'll try the 120. Perhaps one day I'll try that as well. But for now, 9 out of 10 for Dogfish Head, 90 minute IPA. Great beer. I'm going to enjoy the last bit here. And I'll see you guys later in the next review. The next review will be another American craft beer. Quite strong as well, so stay tuned. In the meantime, I want to remind you that I am on Facebook. I have that page for my James Munchot beer reviews but we need more people to finally get a link if you have a few moments just go on Facebook if you're there uh, type in DMs Munchot beer review just DMs beer reviews you'll find it please add me and then um, I'm, I'm always posting every single review there so um, I am communicating either way stick to good beer see you next time bye <music>